The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I'm very sorry for the interruption, but as you know, we have elderly people here in the neighborhood that we help take care of, and unfortunately, I was scheduled to do that. It looked like everything was going to go okay, and then one of our neighbors uh, had a mini crisis. <laughs> Well, it's always a mini crisis, but anyway, I'm sorry for that. Uh, nothing I can do about that. That will not happen Friday because I've made arrangements on that. Now, I'm watching this particular move here in silver. You'll notice the 1.618 expansion, folks. We sold that today at 28.60. The high was 28.65, and uh, it's just started to move down. I've got to do something here because if you'll bear with me, I just put some more on, and I want to – protect my backside so bear with me here for just a second and i'm going to put this in here and i gotta put the second one in right there and i'm not going to risk very much at all on this puppy i can tell you that right now and now we're done okay we're all finished up in here so let's uh keep a close eye on these things here as we're going but uh having a pretty uh, interesting day here okay uh folks <laughs> this is like a trading day for me so just stay with me here for just a second all right say so we we sold it there we sold some more on this abcd pattern right now so now what i've got is i've got multiple positions on and i'm going to put my stop uh right there at 02 that way i have locked in i'll show you just here a second here oh where is it Bear with it is right here, right here in silver. You see, I'm up uh, on the two contracts right here. I don't know why that says three, but there's only two. So what I'm going to do now, I have a stop working at, um, we're going to cancel this one, okay? Cancel this one, and I have stop working on this two lot right here. So I'm going to move that stop down to, so that I can't lose anything at all. And the worst thing that can happen to me today is that I'll net $3,300. So that's the best thing that could possibly happen. I don't expect to see anything like this on Friday, but God only knows. And boy, she's seeing some wild markets here. So let's move on here, see where we are with this. Okay, that's the silver, what we're watching here. So we're going to pay attention to that. All right, got that one covered. All right, now the gold. Gold has been a very nice one. We also mentioned yesterday in the gold. Now, if you look at this real closely, today we had the high back here at 86, and our goal is to sell the first 382 retracement on this. And if you'll look at this, you'll see the market came down, had the rally, and it went above the 382 right here at 61. But then it came down, look at this, it came all the way down to 36. That made the ABCD pattern down here at the 1.27. Well, if you sold it here and you gave all of it back, you should be spanked. That's basically uh, the way it looks like to me. But that would have been a good one. If we were trading live, we certainly would have been able to uh, get some of that in. But if we look at gold on the little bit longer time frame here, it hasn't really done any damage at all to the bull, to the bull side. Let me show you why. There's the low where we made last week. Okay, that was last Friday's low. And you'll notice today's low was right in that ballpark of where it should be. You'll see it stopped. A, almost exactly at the 50% level, then rallied to the 78% level. Now, if we go below here, that means we're going to be looking at an ABCD down to this level right here in the gold market. Now, these markets are, I've said many times, 23, this down to 23 bucks and where it is right now. But if that is the case, that tells us, okay, that tells us that we are getting ready for a major correction in the gold. And that major correction would be from 85 down here. That would be uh, $60. Remember the uh, harmonic number in gold is 34 times 2 is 68. So that's right in the ballpark of two harmonics. This is a Wednesday. Hopefully we'll be there on Thursday. That would really be nice if we could do that. And all we look for are ABCDs. And this is, I know they're not easy to see, but sometimes when you spot them, they're as good as gold. And there you see the high in gold was 2385 and the high was 
238450. So those are the kind we're looking for are the low risk kind. That's basically it. Now, as you can see here, we're breaking again here uh, in the S&P. There was the, uh, the big break this morning. And all we did is we went right up to the 50% level. There's your high right here. Stopped exactly on the 50% level. And now we came down. We rallied up to the 61% retracement. But here's the key. Stay with me because this is the one that's important. We look at the daily, and I think this is what we're going to be watching here. I'm going to move this over here a little bit. Why does that say monthly? I don't want monthly. Uh, oh, it says June daily. Shut the front door, Larry. I've already got these drawn in. We're going to draw them again for the folks because this is what we want to do is repetition is the mother of knowledge and the father of invention. Here's where we are. We're going to clear all this out. There's our high back here on April Fool's Day. All right, here's our first A, B, C, D pattern right here. That's this one right there, and it completes, okay? Now we have the second A, B, C, D pattern. That is from this one down to here and this one up to here, and that should complete. It didn't draw it right. Hold on just a second. I'm going to draw it correctly because it's off by a little bit. We have the next A, B, C, D forming right here. There's your A leg, B leg, C leg, D leg right here. And that should be today at 65. The low today so far is 75. So expect a new low right in here. Now, remember, we got a big PPI number coming in on Friday. And also, the numbers on this are even worse than the numbers they're expected today. But don't pay any attention to that, folks. Pay attention to what the charts are trying to tell us. And that's what we're looking at. Mike Moore will be our guest today. So let's keep a, uh, keep a close eye uh, on that as we're watching these things here. Uh, unfold okay let's move on here just a second because i <laughs> i have this uh, uh i have quite a few positions on right now well i'm out of the bonds now i'm still short the s p i'm short the crude oil uh, i'll show you the crude oil in just a second if you remember that was another one that we were looking at really closely it followed really nicely now this is the ai program this is the ai program i just want to show you see that and we're going to be doing this. I'm going to show you how to do the AI. In fact, you're going to get the AI book that was never published. It was published, but never, uh, well, no, what was it? Printed, but never published. I never, let's try it again, Larry. It was printed and published, but never advertised. So it went up to the 61% retracement right at the time it was supposed to go down, and then it came down. However, here, here was another trade that we did this morning. I'm going to do this on the three-minute because this is, remember, these these markets, are, they're not for the faint of heart anymore, folks. These, these puppies are rocking and rolling, and this is what we like to see. Doesn't make any difference. Here was the high, okay? So what do you do? You wait for the first 382 retracement. So you come down, there's your first 383 retracement right here. So you sell it at 45.46. It drops $800 to this level right here. Now it, it doesn't make the ABCD, but look what it does. It has this huge rally. Now if you sold it at 85.46 and you were at work and you put your stop above here like you should have, you would have made that whole part on the way down. But if you were micro trading like MWA, you would have uh, re-entered right there, and then I got out of it Steve right Rhodes here. Steve started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that. 
as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I just wanted to show you what I was doing here uh, in the silver market, okay? Uh, what I did was, you know, I sold it here. I covered it at the – this was a 61% retracement right here in silver, okay? And I moved it up like this. There was a 61% retracement. I sell, tried to sell the 382, and I couldn't. So I did this really small – uh, this is one hour. It took from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock to make this, and I sold this, and then I added to the position once it went through here. Now, it got down uh, 10 cents where I sold it, but I put my stop right here on both positions. That way, I made a little bit on this one and broke even on that one, and that's that's the way I'm playing the game. Now, what I will be watching now for the rest of the day, which is another several hours, of course, is I, I this to me this number is big time number in the uh, in the in the silver. So all I want to do is since we've made a new low, I want to find out what the market's going to rally to, and it could rally all the way up another 15 cents right here to this level, right here. Okay, now if I'm correct, and this is the high on silver, and remember, folks, this is a total of a dollar announced today. Look at this. Uh, well. I'll show you in just a second, but that's the number I'm going to be watching right here. This is what we're going to be doing these next few days uh, or next few weeks when we're doing these things. We'll move this over, and I want you to see But if you like ABCD and you have the big move, look, you have a move here. You come all the way down and all the way up. You can see that real easy if we go to a 13-minute chart. You think – then you wonder why I like ABCD. Are you kidding me, boys and girls? Oh. The only thing beats it is the oscillating oscillator, and I've never shown that to anyone, and that'll be the first thing that you see on Friday at 9 o'clock. I'm going to reveal the oscillating oscillator. It looks very much like a cocktail shaker making a uh, James Bond, a shake and not stirred, uh, what did it, was it not a tulip, what do they call those little things? Uh, I can't remember drinks because I'm not, a, not an alcoholic drink. Anyway, that's what I'm watching here. So I've got the limit minder setting here in the silver. So let's just get back to that smaller time frame. And uh, this, I always think that was on a four-minute, I believe. Yep, it was. And there's what we want to be watching is we want to see if we make this 382 in silver. And we'll move this over here. And that would be right down in this area right here. At 38.20, there's the old high right here, see? So there was your new 3.82, so we want to see if it gets there. It's only 12 cents away, and believe me, if it can move a dollar an ounce in two hours, it can certainly move 12 cents in uh, the next hour that we're on the air here right now. Now, we've got Mark, um, Mark, Mike Moore coming on as our guest, which will be fun. And then we have to cover a couple other things that are doing pretty good. The bonds are still going a little bit lower, but it's made our profit objective. 
And uh, so that's good. And what else we got here? I uh, did the right thing by covering the S&P. We're still going to have a little bit of a bounce here. The reason why I covered the S&P, folks, we were setting right at the 61% retracement on this move. And I'm short-term trading. This is what I have to do when I'm working with you guys. Let's just show you where we were right here. There we're sitting right at the 786, right on the spot money. And, the, and the da I happened to be checking the NASDAQ at the time, and it was setting right at the 618. I'll get the NAT. Where is the NASDAQ? Shut the front door and raise the rent, and we'll see where we are here right now. Okay, hold on, NASDAQ. I had it here for a second here. I got so shaken up when my neighbor had that problem, and it was not an easy thing to do. Here was the, here was the NASDAQ. All right, and I'm watching these smaller patterns because this is what we look for. So at that point right here, you'll notice, and here's we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing with we did with the S and P. Okay, there's where we were. We sat here for 15 minutes. Okay, and that's when we were, and I just covered it just a few minutes ago, and that saved me uh, $500. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to do. Not micro trading like this, but I've had a very good day and I don't wanna give any of it back. You know, I'm not I'm not uh, naive enough to think that that's gonna happen all the time, but that's what kind of thing that we're gonna be looking at. All right, someone's asked about a stock. Of course, you know what it is, it has to be Tesla. It's the only stock in the world for some people and I think that's okay. Put the daily chart up. I know we still have a downside target in it. Let's see if it's moving. It's starting to go down a little bit, but really not much. If you'll see here, well, look at this. There was your very bearish 382 right now. You can see that was that one. So what would you think this one was? There's your 382. Guess what it was? Very bearish. It's gone from 78. Only dropped eight points. So we're still heading down potentially to our targets. If the stock market breaks any more, it's going to make this without too much trouble. That's down at 120, $50 lower. If it can go from 260 to 180, that's $80 in uh, five weeks. It can certainly do that in uh, three or four weeks. So that's what we're paying attention to. Uh, second question was about Apple. Just give me a second. Let's we'll see if it's held at 168 or not. I think that it has, but I don't follow it very much at all. We will be looking at some stocks tomorrow or on Friday, but uh, frankly, we'll see where we are. Well, we're breaking down now. We're broke below 168. That means we're taking out this low even in here. So we are headed lower in the, in the uh, Apple. Uh, well, let's just see the shorter term patterns. There's drive one. There's drive two. There's drive three. I know, folks, we're coming into Friday. Oh, dear. This is going to be a really nice one for a possible day trade in apple so let's just look at this right here that's a b equals c d and that's where we are right now and uh oh uh oh now what do i do uh oh i'm afraid to even answer this one okay hold on just a second anyway that's what we're paying attention to right now hold on i got a, a message here uh brother let's just double check here Okay, got this. Oh, he's just I mean, I stay on page here. Okay, all right. Anyway, this is we're out of the silver now. We netted uh, 29 in that. In the S&P, we made 58. Uh, we had one other one. Oh, the euro has been a really good one. I don't even wear that one. We still have that one going. And the bonds, we made uh, pretty good on that one. So it's been a pretty good day altogether. I don't think that's going to happen on Friday, but, you know, we, we will have some, hopefully we'll have some profits. But these things, these are what I try to send out, folks, every night in the videos. I, I sent the bonds. I sent the euro. I sent the gold. I sent uh, what else, uh, the uh, S&P. The S&P, we had that. Look at that rally yesterday, folks. This is worth the price of admission. You want to see a short covering rally? This was one. Let me get over here to the S&P. And um, that's what I was scared to death about possibly today. Here's where we were. Uh, this is silver. Shut the front door. Hold on. Let me get this out of the way here. Where are you, S&P? Don't tell me I deleted you. I never delete that. As you can hear, folks, I am out of breath. I don't like this part of the time, but I have to do this because of the situation with the neighbors. Move this over. Let's go to a 13-minute because that's when you can see it the easiest. Look at this yesterday. This is where we were yesterday. This was absolutely setting 
right at the 786 here. Then it rallies up. Looks like it's, remember this was the 382. It comes down, makes a perfect little Gartley. Look at this. I'll show it to you because I saw it. This was the last half hour of the day. But look at this. And we could have just done that. I don't know. There's the ABCD leg right here at guess what? 618 with two hours to go and it rallies 50 handles. And then what does it do? It makes a higher high and drops 100 handles. Hello, operator. What are they trying to tell you here? So let's see where we are now. Might be a trading opportunity here. You never know. Take a look. Well, hey, we're going to have Mike Moore with some luck. We'll have him right back. I need to get some water and take some tranquilizers. I'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. <clears throat> okay, folks, I believe we have Mike Moore of Moore Analytics in the house Hi. today. Mike, how are you doing today? Hi, Larry. How are you? I apologize doing... to you and the viewers for not being able to be on yesterday. I had something unforeseen happen. And, and <laughs> Listen, so. I, you I have apologize. no idea what unforeseen is. I take care of an elderly neighbor, and um, he had a little bit of a 
senior moment right when I'm getting ready to start the show, and I had oh, nobody wow. here to help me. So anyway, I got it taken care of right away. He's a super nice person, but don't get old, Mike. I can promise you that. It's not as much fun as you hear about people living a long, happy life. The long part is good. <laughs> as long as you're healthy. You're... Hey, listen, start. Let's get back to what really is important. Crude oil, heating oil, gasoline, and all the others. Tell us what you're looking at, my friend. Okay, so just real quick, you had called on the Skype, and then I got a second call that came in from you, so I picked up the second call. Okay. now it's not, it's not showing me the ability to share screens. Okay. Oh, well, let's, maybe the folks, that they'll be able to help us at uh, the old TFNN place. We'll see if we can get that, uh, see if maybe that you, will get. you just uh, have to enable it or something like that. I hope so, but you just never know. Well, anyway, we can talk about it uh, where we're at, so, and they can figure that out. Do you want to take a look at crude first? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Definitely want to take a look at crude. Okay. So, in the crude in general from the last time we met uh, we've been bullish obviously for a long time but one of the key calls that we were talking about last time is I said solid trade above 8304 will warrant a solid higher trade for two dollars and65 cents minimum 48 dollars plus maximum which would obviously be a very significant call uh, we've already attained the minimum we've attained four dollars and58 cents of that but that is now on hold and um, I think that we're in a lower time frame bearish correction within that. And the crude broke below a minor pattern at um, 85.68 yesterday that brought in some pressure. We pulled right back up to where it was today and then came off. However, the RBOB or unleaded gasoline, which had broken below a few formations just, wow, it's so weird, this just popped, it was just a perfect time to buy it about five minutes ago, and now it's exploded, but uh, it had broken below a formation at... Um, oh my God, I just realized crude oil's really smashed up, hasn't it? Yeah, 275.43, and it broke oh, back oh, above yeah. that line, which now warns of decent short okay. covering, and a good likelihood back for the highs. Not that it's projected up there, but a good likelihood of the RBOB of one back for 281 to 281.72 plus. And um, the the heating oil was really the first um, entity that warned of an end to this run down. We had come down to an exhaustion level down here at uh, 266.11, and we held that with the 265.55 low and are now popping up. That is approaching a bullish formation right now to get long above. That comes in at 270.28 and moves down 12 ticks per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. So you could get long above that. You break above there decently and back down through it decently. That would want a decent pressure and decent in the heating oil today is 215 ticks. You want me to t go over the Brent yes, gas oil ab also? Yes, absolutely. Go over all of them. Everything needs to be looked at, my friend, because we've got so much going on today that it's uh, it's real easy to <laughs> get confused when you see all the stuff that's jumping around, that's for sure. Yeah, so the Brent had a similar large projection to the upside. We'd broken above that major formation at 86.57, which also warned for about 280 ticks minimum, uh, but at a $46 maximum, I should say $2.80 minimum. And uh, we, we broke above 86, oh, I'm sorry, what did I say there? 86.57 and we tr traded up to 91.91. So we already saw the minimum of that and then we rolled over. Then we got bearish a couple days ago and we're still bearish, but if we break, we're coming down underneath a bullish formation just above. That's bullish formation is going to come in at 90.08 at 1 o'clock and move down three ticks per hour. Decent break above there would warrant a decent strength and a renewal. And so since this is a, especially in the heating oil, since this is just completed or likely completed a lower time frame bearish move down, this could resume now in a, uh, in a bullish stretch, like I said, to the highs. And then the gas oil, 
Similarly, got bearish a couple of days ago. We're still above major formations from below, but I think that we, we may be at the last uh, point of this. There's an exhaustion level right below here at 820.50 to 818.20. Uh, we just rejected out of it with an 819.50 low, and there is a bullish formation just above us here at 830.93. That moves down to uh, about 45 per hour. And a decent break above there would warrant a decent strength. Do you have any questions on those, or do you want me to jump? No, to no, that? no. That that's, let's go over that Brent again. And could you the tell the folks why the Brent uh, is a premium? Because I never could figure that one out. Is that the North Sea? Is that what that? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's not nearly traded as much as WTI, is it? Uh, it's probably pretty good liquidity. I mean, it's, I don't know exactly just the exact liquidity of it. We can take a look. Can I see? Volume in there and the spike down was 37,828 contracts. And volume in the w WTI was. Uh, hold on a second. I'm just using an hourly spike down as a comparison. Okay. WTI was 33,608. So a little bit more, a little bit more liquidity in there. Okay, great. But okay, let's move on. Can we look okay. at the gasoline? Um, Yes. By the way, the crude oil, just real quick, is approaching a formation that comes in at 86 even mm -hmm. at 1 o'clock and goes up and rises 1.5 ticks per hour. Decent break above there will warrant a decent strength and a likely run back for the 87.63 high. I'm sorry, did you say the natural gas, Larry? Yes, please. Natural gas, yeah. Natural gas just turned bearish. We were bullish going into today, but we broke up above a formation at 190 even, but failed back down through it. So presently right here in bearish, not majorly bearish, but looking for this to get knocked down a bit. Uh, maybe come off to the 18, 183 er, uh, area or so. We'll take a break, Mike, and we'll be right back with Mike Moore of More Analytics, folks. Stay tuned, more to come. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. 
All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. We're back, folks, with Mike Moore of More Analytics. Please continue, Mike. Hi, Larry. So uh, I have the S&P up unless you wanted to. Want to S&P is we're not having much volatility the last two days in the S and P's, <laughs> so go ahead and cover that. Go ahead and cover that. Yeah, it's quite some swings here. Uh, so this morning I said I wanted range expansion. Yesterday, of well, we sort of saw that the trade below 52 uh, 18.50 warranted decent pressure. We'd seen uh, a smackdown to 51.76.50. I did say note we are likely in the last stretch of the lower time frame move down from the high with areas of possible exhaustion at 51.67.75 to 66 and a quarter. Came just shy of that there. We had a low at 51.76.50. And uh, the break back above this low warns this could be an early termination. The problem is we're still below these bearish formations. We broke below this bearish formation. We came off. We pulled right back up to it, and we're rolling back over. So um, kind of a tentative situation here. If we break back above these formations, then I think this thing is ready to run again to the, um, to, for a bullish correction against the move down and possibly a run for the highs again. So the formation you want to be paying attention to right here comes in. There's two of them, right, but they're right next to each other. Uh, it comes in at... 52.17.29 as of 1.30 and moves up 11 per hour. So a decent break above there will warrant a decent um, strength. And decent in there will be or is excuse me, uh, 28.5 points today. And overall, obviously, we're still um, bullish the s and I would also note that we came just shy of this exhaustion level up here, the 53.36.55, with a 53.33.50 high, and we've been rolling over here. So this could be more expensive, or this could be muted and then run again. But these lines yeah. right here will open the, open the upside again for a run back up. I think it makes a good point that uh, folks that uh, if you don't use stops in these markets, you probably should start working for a, uh, a job over McDonald's as a short order cook because <laughs> they're going to take all your money away from you real fast if you don't put some stops in. <laughs> yeah, there's um, never wise to put on a position without having a stop in. That's, That's sure. correct. You want to look at gold? Well, let me think. Yeah, mm, yeah, <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> okay, so no. gold is run up and. Now, the major call that we talked about last time was I said if we see solid trade above above 21.47.50 to 21.48.40, that would project this upward 151 minimum, 954 maximum. So we've taken that out, and we've attained 236.1 of that. Currently, we are holding a lower time frame exhaustion level here in this uh, red box, if you could see that, and we've rolled over a little bit. So we may see some 
minor corrective action against the move up from here, but overall still solidly bullish. Yes. And if we were to come off and take out that major formation, since I know we may not talk uh, uh, for a week here, let me just double check something. Bear with me, no, but silver. Um, sorry. There's so many technical things on our computers nowadays, it, it takes a double right. PhD to get I know, to I know, all right. It's, uh, all right, let me just go right to the, oh, here we go. Okay. So that major line, sorry. Anyway, it's way down below, so we're probably not going to hit it. But anyway, I'm, I don't want to spend any more time over uh, looking at it. But we, like I said, we're, we had 151 minimum, 954 maximum. We've only attained 236.1 of that so far. So we could see quite a bit more to the upside. Okay. And would you like to take a look at the Bitcoin? Uh, absolutely. That was one of the questions that we had, that's for sure. Okay. Are you involved in Bitcoin at all, uh, Mike, or do you just do the analysis on it? Just doing the analysis on it right now. Yeah, I've never, I've never traded it, so I <laughs> am proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, – so we've been bullish since the break above 16, 275 to 60. We've seen 58,140 per corn. A lot of other moves in between there, but just yesterday we got bearish. We'd failed back down below this line up here. This is the trade back below 71,125. Now warrants a decent pressure. We had seen 3,315 of that going into this morning. And then we held this formation right here and just bounced right off it. But decent trade below there, which is going to come in at. Sixty-eight oh one four plus twenty-one per hour, starting at one o'clock p.m. Decent break below that. We'll warrant a decent pressure of at least twenty-five hundred per coin, and possibly as much as uh, eight fifth uh, eight thousand five hundred plus. Okay. And decent in there is going to be one thousand three hundred and forty today. Through the close. That sure is. And if we break above this line above here, decently on the upside, which comes in at 70.908 minus 8 per hour starting at 1 o'clock p.m., that will uh, renew bullishness. And then all of these calls, which are currently on hold, and all these calls that are currently on hold will be then taken off hold. Wow, that's really good stuff. Mike, uh, we'll have you on again uh, next week, uh, say around the same time, maybe Wednesday or Thursday. Let's do Thursday of next week if we could. I'm going to put in my calendar right now. Let me just Because I, I want, to, want to talk to you a little bit about your auto trading program then at that time if, you're, if you'd like to do that. Actually, Thursday next week, uh, I will not be able to. Sorry. Okay, how about, Wednesday, how about Wednesday? Wednesday, Wednesday. I already have you done. Uh, we have you on for Wednesday of next week, correct? Yeah, the 17th. Oh, yeah. no, it can't be Wednesday of next week. That's Arch's birthday. How about Friday of next Oh, can't do – yeah, Friday of next uh, – can't do – yeah, I can do Friday of next week, okay? The 19th? Um, I would have to move something. Oh, no, then yeah. Just tell me when you're ready. You know, I hate hey, no, to no, take no, the Friday, time. Let's do Friday. That's good. Okay. Friday Mike Moore, you're going to be – Yes, sir. Same time. So we'll see you then. Okay, pal? Okay, fantastic. And thank you for, um, uh, again, I apologize about yesterday. Yeah, and it's not, it's not a problem. I spend most of my time here apologizing, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> I'll talk to you later, buddy. You bet. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, folks, listen, we've got to take a break here, I think, to pay some bills. Is that right? 34 seconds to go. Uh, sorry for the interruptions, folks. They just couldn't be um, helped, I guess, given the fact the way things are jumping around today. So bear with me, and we'll be right back after these few words from our messages.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I want to go back to that silver. This was the, the red line is the AI. We're going to be the artificial intelligence program that I work with. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this yourself. But uh, we're going to have some fun because you can make some money off this. Now, you notice here that it should have started down sometime during the day. But you notice the 1.618 expansion of that move. We know that that number is the number that is the number that you etch in stone. And that's why we sold it at 28.61. Uh, the high was 28.65 on a fast tick. And it immediately went to 27, I think 52. Then we put our stop at break even. And of course, we covered it down here at the 61% retracement for a nice gain. And we just had that 382 rally back that we talked about at 2820 uh, during the time when Mike was talking. It went up and hit 2822. It's slightly below that, but not much. But anyway, that's how we going to be doing that. And that was just the. Uh, that was just the uh, gasoline, <laughs> crude oil. That was, uh, let's try that again. That was silver. Now, this one happens to be the um, crude oil. And you notice here that we were looking for crude oil to turn around this time right here. Unfortunately, I was really busy, and I missed uh, most of this to the downside. We had a little 382 that I caught part of it in, but I was doing so well in the euro and the, uh, the treasury bonds and the stocks. 
and what was the other? and the euro and the treasure bond and even the, the we short soybeans and stuff so those are broke pretty good uh coming down just like we had hoped so that's all lining up maybe we'll have friday as a good buy date for some of these things so i hope you're able to stay with us do something nice for your neighbors folks because as you can see living here sometimes uh, things might happen that you might not think happen so thanks for joining us today uh, we'll see you tomorrow i guess tomorrow will be uh rich anderson uh Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, it is. Tomorrow's Rich Anderson. It's his birthday. So he's going to be on. So we'll see you then. 